Hey, are you thinking of moving to the Hudson Valley, but you're not sure which town is right for you? Maybe you want to live somewhere that has a little higher uh, population density than some of the Hudson Valley towns that you've been to, but you're not really sure which one to go to. Today, I want to talk about a town in Dutchess County that is close to Poughkeepsie called Spackenkill. So the Spackenkill neighborhood is just south of the city of Poughkeepsie by about 11 minutes, maybe four miles by car. It's near Vassar. It's not too far from Marist. It's not too far from the Hudson River. And it has kind of a lot of neat parks and other amenities that make living in Spack and Kill a lot of fun. So let me pull it up on the map just to show you where it is. All right, so the Spack and Kill neighborhood, as you can see on the map, is just south of Poughkeepsie. <clears throat> it's it's uh, about four miles south of Poughkeepsie, like I mentioned, and it's nestled between Red Oaks Mill and the Hudson River to the west, Poughkeepsie to the north, and Wappingers Falls to the south. So it's in one of the more densely populated areas in Dutchess County and actually in the Hudson Valley overall. This east side of the Hudson River which runs uh, north and south along Route 9, is one of the places where you'll find most of the shops and restaurants and um, different kinds of things that people like to have that make living in an area convenient. So let me just share a little bit about Spack and Kill for you today so I can help you make a decision about whether Spack and Kill is the right place for you to move to in the Hudson Valley or not. So as I mentioned, it's about uh, four miles south of the center of the city of Poughkeepsie. Now, if you if you live in Spackenkill and you need to go to the DMV, go get your go to the government offices, you'll find that those are all pretty much located right in the middle of the heart of Poughkeepsie City. And in that area as well, like here's City Hall right here, the post office, um, the DMVs in there, and all that kind of stuff. You got Millhouse Brewing Company, you have uh, Shotzi's Pub and Beer Garden. You have the Chance Theater, you have the Bardavan Theater, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty neat place to be if you are in Spack and Kill because you can go north to Poughkeepsie to get some of your stuff done up there, or you can head south on Route 9. You can go to the Poughkeepsie Galleria, which is a mall. There's a Target there. You've got other grocery stores and things nearby in Spack and Kill that make um, living in an area super convenient, especially if you are raising a family, or you just like to have all the modern conveniences like Target and grocery stores at your fingertips. As far as the demographics go, Spack and Kill, according to niche.com, ranks as one of the best places to live in Dutchess County. It gets an overall uh, A-plus rating, so it's, it's ranked really highly as far as little towns or areas or suburbs in uh, Dutchess County Go, it has a great um, cost. Well, the cost of living is pretty good. It has a lot of outdoor activities, nightlife. Nightlife is going to be mostly in Poughkeepsie, which is, again, just like four miles north. It has pretty good, it ranks B plus on diversity. It has um, probably a lot of gyms and different places to go. You have parks and gyms and you have the universities nearby if you want to go walking on campus and enjoy getting outside and enjoying health, some health and fitness stuff. It's also great for families and has an A rating on public schools. So overall, Spack and Kill is one of the more desirable areas to live in in Dutchess County near Poughkeepsie. And if you're looking to move to that area to work at Vassar or Marist, or maybe the Culinary Institute a little further north in Hyde Park, or maybe you're moving to Poughkeepsie to work for IBM, this might be a good option for you to look at as it might have a lot of the things that you're looking for. As far as transportation goes, so if you're commuting down to Manhattan from from Hudson from the Hudson Valley, and you want to be within a two-hour commute, Spack and Kill might be a great place for you. You are the train ride is going to be about an hour and fifty minutes on the long side, and an hour and forty minutes on the quick side. So you just have to factor in once you get uh, leave your front door, how long is it going to take you to get to the train station? And also once you get off the train down in Grand Central, how long is it going to take you to get to where you need to go? But overall, the train ride is going to be between an hour and 40 and an hour and 50 minutes, 
which makes it not too bad. Now, if you're traveling internationally or you want to fly to Florida, if you're one of the normal people in the Hudson Valley or in New York, we're always going down to Florida. New York Stewart International Airport is going to be about 50 minutes depending upon the traffic. So right now it's a 50 minute drive, it's 24 miles. So you do have to get through a lot of traffic on Route 9 just to get over there, even though it's 24 miles. So that might be a downside for you. That's just something you need to think about. If you're going to JFK, you can hop on the Taconic from Spackenkill, which is a little bit further to the east. The, t t the Taconic will take you all the way down to Westchester and then through the Bronx and Queens and everything. So you can get over to JFK. So that's about two hours and 10 minutes. Also, if you're heading up to Albany, the Albany airport is about an hour and 40 minutes or so, depending upon which route you take. So if you're flying out of Albany, it's an international airport. So it might be another option instead of heading down to JFK. All right. So as far as what to do in Spackenkill, you'll definitely want to go to Spratt Park. It's one of the biggest parks in the area. It's a really pretty park. Um, I'll throw in some scenery from there. I love to drive by there. Lots of people are out walking at Spratt Park. you got um, different kinds of um, ball fields and dog park, I believe. Is there's, I believe there's a dog park there. And it's just a neat place to go. So if you're looking for something to do, if you want to get out and go for a walk, uh, Spratt Park would be great. If you want to teach, I was over there the other day and somebody was teaching their daughter how to ride a bicycle for the first time in, in one of the big parking lots. And that was pretty neat during the middle of the day. That was a lot of fun to watch somebody just starting off on their bicycle adventures in life. So that was pretty neat. So it's just a really great place to go and hang out if you're looking to be outdoors and enjoy the beautiful weather that we get up here. All right, so Spack and Kill is also close to Poughkeepsie, which is the home to Marist and also the um, home to Vassar. So you got two great un little universities in the area. And the thing I love about university towns is you have a lot of stuff going on on campus. So if you're always if you're looking for arts or music or museums or sporting events, you can always go to Vassar and Marist. They're very uh, Marist is very athletic. They have a great they have a lot of really great sports there. So it's a really great place to go. So I highly recommend getting involved with those two campuses if you're moving up to the area. The Culinary Institute is also not very far away. It's a little bit further north. Um, of Poughkeepsie and it's right on the Hudson River. They've got some great restaurants there so you can book a reservation and go eat and enjoy some of the amazing food that's coming out of the Culinary Institute. So that's pretty neat. And also let's talk about home. So what are the what's going on with the home prices? So in in the Spack and Kill area, I just pulled up the recent stats from today. Um, in the last 30 days, there has been an increase in inventory. There are 21 homes on the market, but overall, the, the whole market is down about 30% over its normal inventory levels. So this time next year, you might have 30% more homes. So there might be more inventory to look at. Um, so that would be great. Right now, the average home price is $457,000. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the average home price. Now you can get stuff for less expensive, and you can buy homes for a lot more expensive, just depending upon what you're looking for. One of the things I do like about the homes in the Spack and Kill area is that a lot of them are on quarter acre, third of an acre, half an acre, sometimes an acre, you, or even more. You're getting a lot more house, you're getting a lot more land for some of the same home prices that you might find somewhere else. Like where I am in Beacon, a $500,000 house is going to get you about a 0.15 acre lot. Um, in uh, the Spack and Kill area, a $500,000 house will probably get you a half an acre, a quarter acre. So it's just, you get a lot more land. It's nice to have a lot of greenery. So if you're looking for a yard, you want a nice backyard, a nice front yard, you want to have nice flowers around, and you want to be able to spread out and not just be able to reach out the window and touch your neighbor's house, Spack and Kill might be a great place for you. A lot of the houses that were built in the Spack and Kill area are raised ranches, ranch homes. You have a lot of the mid-century modern homes. You have a lot of the 1950s rambling ranch houses. Um, so a lot of the people who have lived in the Speck and Kill area have been there for a long time and are just starting to downsize and move away or 
their family ends up with a property and puts it on the market. So not everything has been updated. You do have other people who are coming in and buying some of these houses and fixing them up. So you might get an updated kitchen, updated bathrooms, updated flooring, new paint, new light. It just depends on the house and the price point that you're looking in. So the best thing to do is go on to uh, my website and search for homes for sale in SPAC and Kill, and it'll bring you up with a great list of the current inventory in SPAC and Kill. If you're thinking of moving to the Hudson Valley and you're not sure if SPAC and Kill is the right neighborhood for you, give me a call. I'd be happy to take you there and show you some houses in the SPAC and Kill area. It's just south of Poughkeepsie. It's conveniently located. It's a great area if you want to be close to everything, but still feel like you have a lot more green space around you. As you can see, just by looking at this map, you can see just how green it is and how nice um, it could be to live in a place like Spack and Kill. So go ahead and give me a call. I'm happy to help you. Whether you're looking to buy a house now or in the future, seven or 70 days from now or seven months from now, go ahead and give me a call. I work with people just like you who are moving to the Hudson Valley from out of the area and they're not really sure where they wanna live. I'm always happy to help people talk to them on the phone, have a Zoom call, help you find the right place for you. So go ahead and give me a call. And before you go, please like and subscribe, smash the like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.